Good morning everybody. Um, just in case you thought I'd been locked away, I have, but only under duress of COVID. I'm let loose to fly a range for you to do a, sling, a slight spring come Easter kind of arrangement. And I've made these circles out of Virginia creeper that grows on the edge of the garden. And I thought they'd make such a super duper nest. So I've done three, three in three different sizes. And then, um, most of you know Meg Whitaker, and we do a class with Meg. And in it I've made some um, Easter eggs. Um, and I've made them, you blow a balloon up, as you all know. And then in this case, they're covered in decoupage paper. And I've done like a salad in green, because I thought it would look quite super duper. And in each one, I've got a little tiny fish bowl and uh, a pin holder uh, because as you know we're trying to be eco-friendly so even though I'm the old school I'm trying to sort of learn so I've done um, three sizes three little shapes three different sizes and um, then I pitted the poor N because unfortunately um, she's laid rather a large egg but we have to sort of uh, think beautiful thoughts um, as I say, I've blown a balloon up, covered them in decoupage, um, I've coated them with PVA glue because that, I like the finish, it's shiny but it does make it a little bit more kind of acrylic, it's not as soft as doing proper mache. So it's quite a simple design, I'm just going to use some um, hair and metallicum pictum out of the garden. Um, I love the shape and I'm, I absolutely adore um, the texture that they have and I'm not inclined to do anything that's particularly difficult um, hoping that you can follow suit. The pin holders are great because you can literally just um, fix the, the air rooms in the pin holder and you can at least arrange where you want them to go. Um, they're grown in our garden. They're actually, would you believe, from Jerry and Patrick's garden. They are grew them in abundance and passed them on to us and they just flourishing in the garden. Um, I adore, I was going to use rubus to trail, but I've kind of gone off the idea of thinking it's a wee bit too fussy. So I'm not actually going to use the rubus at all although it does grow absolutely beautiful I'm only going to use tulips now unfortunately and I don't want everybody to shout normally one would buy them from the flower wholesalers but because of Covid unfortunately I'm totally restricted in the sense that we are self-isolating and so I've had to purchase them from unfortunately um, um, the supermarket so I do apologise but unfortunately it's the way life is at the moment so the good thing about a pin holder is you can you know as you know very well those who flower arrange properly the tulips will do their own thing you cannot get them to stay in the place you want but you can at least with a pin holder allow them to at least be placed a little bit until they start um, to formulate their own shape but at this time of year I adore tulips I just love the shape they just tend to be so spring like and I thought I'd use yellow because it's sort of um, it's kind of like a super contrast if you like to the gorgeous salad and green now I hope you're all keeping safe and looking after yourselves and doing little bits of flower arranging. Um, I must admit, in all honesty, this is the first time I've arranged any flowers since lockdown. If I buy any, I buy them and I tend to just put them in a vase. But I'm sure that's what most people do at the moment. Which is sad to say, I know, but unfortunately, life's changed completely for the time being and we're all doing much more and much different things to what we would do normally. Um, 
I find it quite strange actually because as I say I haven't arranged for such a long time. It's kind of um, frightening and it sounds ridiculous because when you think I've been demonstrating this you know for quite a number of years we won't go down it too much. Um, I have in, in, in essence retired supposedly. Um, as you know, we were doing Blackburn Cathedral last year, but unfortunately due to COVID, we had to cancel, which was such a shame because a lot of people had done a heck of a lot of work. But unfortunately, there was not a lot we could do. And whether it will transpire again or any big, big, big demonstrations will go ahead, I'm really not sure, as I'm sure we're all under the same... Uh, frame of mind it's sad but unfortunately life has changed um, so I'm going to put this into more into the center of the table and just arrange through it so unfortunately nobody can eat at the table but hey ho you know we flower rangers don't worry about how do we all we think about is beautiful sort of spacing and so I like the spacing, the big egg's a little bit bare, so I've done a couple of little tiny ones just to sort of hide in, just to bring the yellow back through, and since he was lost one, um, and a couple of little tiny eggs that I made, just to pull the colour through back on the table. And then I fancied something to marry them together, so I was rooted in the garden and found these lichen branches which I thought were just absolutely gorgeous and I'm kind of just going to sort of let them do their own thing just sort of just in, sort of embroiling I'm going to actually I don't like that stick showing I'm going to use that one instead So, quite a simple design, uh, three placements, again remember your three fives, seven, etc. Um, quite fresh, contrasting colours, gorgeous shapes and as I said I'm very very sad about the hen that laid the egg. I wish everybody a safe, safe life. Take care. Happy Easter and look forward to summer. God bless.